what's your take um, from your business standpoint? I mean, how have you seen business affected by COVID-19? Well, good morning. Um, I think where offices are concerned, COVID-19 is going to be very much a tale of two areas of the city. You know, you've spoken about the challenges of high-rise buildings in central business districts. What Sirius specialises in is business parks on the edge of town, and about a third of the space inside those business parks is offices. And typically, because those offices are on former industrial estates, the buildings are no higher than two or three storeys high. You've got much higher ceiling heights, much bigger windows. You've got a very different environment with completely different challenges to the challenges that you describe in high-rise towers in the centre of business districts. Andrew, so, are you, so as a result of that, are you seeing increasing demand for the, for the types of real estate that you offer? And, and if so, is that coming from small, medium-sized businesses that you previously served, or, or are big businesses also to look, looking to move to these kinds of locations? So we are seeing more demand, and at the moment, the demand from small businesses is converting into new leases. We are seeing more demand from bigger businesses, but we're yet to see those bigger businesses actually sign on the dotted line and take out new leases. But what we are seeing, for example, when we look at Google Analytics and the, the trends in and around Germany, is we're seeing a lot more in inquiry trends for open areas. For example, both on the edge of city and also in the centre of city, we're seeing more people look for balcony space, roof space, outside space. And of course, business parks on the edge of town have got plenty of that. But we can actually see how people using offices are changing in terms of what they're looking for. Yeah, well, and fortunately, I mean, uh, in, in Berlin, as in much of Europe, you just don't see the kind of high-rise buildings that you see in New York or even in the city. Um, and I've seen some incredibly creative solutions to um, social distancing here. Is Berlin a standout for you? Yeah, I think Berlin is. I mean, Berlin is very creative. You know, the workforce in Berlin is far more multicultural and international than it is in some German um, cities. And, you know, where Berlin, areas like Leipzig and Dresden are concerned, you tend to get more innovation than you necessarily would in some of the more traditional German um, cities. But the whole concept about um, being on the edge of town and being in industrial properties is really the densest of workspace. You know, in the centre of town, people have for years been crammed in to elevators, to buildings. On the edge of town, there's a lot more outside space, a lot more open space, and generally the buildings themselves tend to have much, you know, higher ceiling heights. They tend to be a lot more spacious. What we're um, finding is that people are feeling a lot safer in those kind of environments in a post-COVID world. Uh, just briefly, Andrew, you're looking to expand. Where, where will you be doing that? We'll be expanding in Germany. Um, we were looking to expand prior to COVID-19. Um, we will continue to, um, to, to look for that expansion. And in some ways, COVID-19, you know, has, has affected that in as much as the kind of expansion that we will be looking for will be driven very much off of the change in tenant demand okay. that we see as a result of the COVID crisis.